Hey guys! This feels like a really weird video to film um, because for starters my angle's a bit different so you can actually see all of my hair or as much of it as I can get in because it is so long. Um, obviously I colour my hair and um, I it's really long, <laughs> it's really thick and I need to give it a bit of extra care so the reason why this is so hot, weird to film is that it's something that I usually do when nobody can see me, when I know nobody's gonna have like <laughs> have any chance of seeing me. It's something that I won't even do if like if I've got a delivery potentially coming in case the postman sees me. Um, but when I say to people that I oil my hair to make it kind of healthier, to give it a nice shine, to make sure it doesn't dry out, to reduce my split ends, and all that kind of stuff. Um, people kind of look at me as though I'm a bit crazy and I know when I first started oiling my hair I had no idea like what to do, how to do it, how not to make a mess um, and all of that jazz so I'm sacrificing my internet dignity here um, to help you guys kind of see how to oil your hair um, so first up I'm going to actually wrap a towel around my shoulders because I don't want to um, cover my top in oil and I learnt this the hard way that um, <laughs> having a towel around your shoulders is really important because the first few times I did it I either forgot or just completely didn't know that I was going to get oil everywhere um, which now when I think about it is really stupid but <laughs> in case you hadn't thought of it either a towel is always useful. Um, so I've got my hair oil, which at the moment I'm using a garlic enriched hair oil from Vatica. It doesn't smell like garlic, <laughs> um, but I've used loads of different types of hair oils and hair masks in the past. You can even use like, you can use olive oil or coconut oil, just oils that you have around the house. Um, all of them do slightly different things. So this is kind of aimed at repairing and restoring your hair. Um, and it's got lemon and rosemary in it as well but like olive oil will help you get a nice shine coconut oil helps to get rid of dandruff um, and if you kind of like look it up online you will be able to find what different oils do different things um, so I can't think of any other I've, uh, I've used other kind of shop bought oils before um, but I can't think of what they are right now <laughs> So anyway, I've also got a bowl <laughs> of warm soapy water so that I can actually dump my hands in and turn my camera off at the end without getting oil everywhere. But first up, I always start off with my scalp um, because I have quite a dry scalp um, and I've suffered really badly in the past with dandruff and it's only when I started actually oiling my hair that I noticed my dandruff went away. Like, I tried everything. I'd um, only wash my hair a certain number of times a week. I'd use anti-dandruff shampoos like everyone under the sun and it was just still there um, and it's only that oiling kind of helps nourish my scalp. Um, so this is going to look really weird <laughs> but basically I just usually just pour a bit into my hand um, so and then I'll rub my hands together and place it on my head <laughs> um, and like rub it in Obviously you can st kind of start to see that my hair looks <laughs> very oily, it's very thin at the front here um, and this is kind of just exposing it <laughs> um, but it's always important to get your scalp oiled. Um, I've already dripped some on my trousers so it's always good to kind of like, I'm wearing my jogging bottoms because you can't see them today so why not? Um, but it's always like it is a messy thing to do so always be careful um, about where you do it so then I kind of go along the, I kind of section out my hair um, and go along it with the oil and just make sure I rub it properly down so that there's no bits that have been missed um, I know I'm using a lot of oil because <laughs> if you can see I have got a lot of hair so I know that the bottle's probably about this full when I started, no, this full, <laughs> um, and I probably will end up using all of it, just to make sure that everything's covered, um, and as well at the moment my, the ends of my hair are really really dry because I've stripped them, um, I did it ages ago but obviously 
the damage is still there and um, they just need a bit of extra help really. So now you can kind of start to really see like <laughs> this side looks a lot darker than this side. Um, like it does when it's wet. It kind of, it obviously it feels very odd to do at first. Um, it's, it feels <laughs> very greasy because it is oil um, and it, it just seems a bit counterproductive because we spend all our time washing our hair and using shampoo and conditioner to make sure it's not oily um, and then obviously you're rubbing oil in but it does help. Um, the I oil my hair probably once a week, once a fortnight um, and I only wash it twice a week but when you wash it, like when you wash the oil out you have to be really really careful um, to make sure you get it all out. I usually do two or three sometimes um, rounds of shampoo because if you don't get it all out your hair will look greasy. Um, so as you can kind of see like all the top part of my hair um, it all looks like the oils on it but the bottom part is still like it doesn't look very much oiled <laughs> that doesn't make sense but you know what I mean um, because it's so dry anyway so I always go and put extra on the ends as well as extra on my scalp because as well the ends are where you're obviously going to get split ends um, and it's useful to keep them nourished so I just kind of comb it through with my fingers. I always brush my hair before I do it as well. Um, the reason why I didn't show you me brushing my hair was I did it about 10 minutes ago and there was no point showing you me brushing it again. Um, but it's always useful so that you can run your hands through it without being like, oh no, it's so tangly and yucky. Right, so this is kind of like starting um, to kind of soak up the oil a bit but it's still um, it's still a lot drier than the top and my scalp so I've just got to make sure that I kind of run everything down and um, make sure it's all covered and do the same with this side as well obviously I'm just only splitting it into each side because it's a bit easier to kind of deal with um, and then it means that you can actually get your scalp at the back which is what I'm about to do um, so it's somewhere that I always struggle to remember to do, <laughs> but it needs to be done. <laughs> Righty, so that's it almost done. I'm just going to kind of comb everything through, make sure it's okay um, with my fingers again. So, and I'm actually just going to put a little bit extra on the ends to give them the kind of TLC they need and then basically what I do is now that I kind of look like a bit of a slug um, you can only leave it on for about an hour but I usually leave it in overnight just that it, I get like a really really good effect from it um, and I wake up in the morning and it's kind of like nice um, and refreshed so you can see now that I've put enough oil in that this bit looks properly oiled at the ends and so does this so yeah it's important just to make sure the whole way down um, is done as well as focusing on your scalp so I'm just gonna put a little bit more up on the top of my scalp um, and yeah basically I usually put this in um, just before I go to bed because that's <laughs> then I just put a tap all over my pillow so that I don't like get it everywhere and upset everybody <laughs> um, upset my boyfriend and keep him awake by getting oily hair on him uh, he wouldn't be very happy with that um, <laughs> but yeah it keeps like my pillow from getting dirty and all that kind of stuff and then um, I just when I shower in the morning I just take it out um, when I shower in the morning I just wash it all out um, obviously I've done it during the day today so just that I sh could show you guys um, when there was decent light around so what I'll probably do is have a shower this evening and wash it out before bed because it will be on for long enough um, and it's a bit it's a bit of a pain to have it in during the day just because um, I'm probably going to tie it up now but that means one of my hair bands is going to get oily and I'm going to have to wash that and all that kind of jazz um, 
but it is definitely worth it. So I find that my hair is a lot softer, it's a lot easier to manage, easier to brush. Um, when I go to the hairdressers, because I don't get my hair cut very often, I probably get it cut once every six months, um, which is really bad, I need to like do it more often, but I just don't. Um, every time I go, the hairdresser is always surprised at how long I've left it, um, because I don't have that many split ends, because I do oil it and I don't use heat products um, that often either. So yeah, <laughs> basically if you want your hair to be soft and shiny and smooth and like it looks in adverts, <laughs> not that they're not Photoshop, but I just feel like so much more confident after I've done it. <laughs> not now, in the slug state, um, <laughs> but later in the butterfly <laughs> state. <laughs> Um, so thank you guys all for watching as always and please give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. So thank you, <laughs> bye!